Joining us now for a closer look at the economy, the jobs picture, and more, Stiefel Chief Economist Lindsay Piegza and my good friend Lindsay, thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. All right, what's going on with claims? I mean, shouldn't we be weakening here? We're not weakening. Well, it, when we look at the labor market data, whether it's claims, whether it's earnings, hiring, the unemployment rate, what we're seeing is a still very tight labor market. So you couple that with an extremely resilient consumer, and I think we're still painting a pretty solid picture of the U.S. economy. This is going to make it difficult for the Fed to continue to remain on the sideline, even with the international conflict now making that, that timing for the next policy move more uncertain. Guys in the back, I don't know if you have my unofficial Powell data dashboard, but if you look at what's happened to GDP, retail sales, and jobs since the last meeting, they're all stronger. How does the Federal Reserve react to this? Powell has said repeatedly, I need slower growth to get inflation down. Persistently below trend growth right. is what he's looking for. We haven't that. seen that. No. And you couple that with the fact that inflation is not just holding steady, but many metrics pushing higher. Then we have an upside potential risk for a further rally in energy prices. The Fed really is being backed into a corner. They don't want to be, but they're being backed into a corner that they have to take a firmer position in policy if, and this is the big component, if they maintain their resolve for reinstating price stability. How does it respond? How does inflation respond? How does the Fed respond? Well, I think right now a lot of it is communication. If they do want to maintain this pause on the sideline, they have to be very clear that they're only doing that as a further temporary move in order to better assess the impact of the international events, better assess financial market conditions. But they remain committed to price stability, and they will continue to move forward with further policy firming. But that's going to be a very difficult message to send to the market. And if the market starts to lose confidence in the Fed, we could see longer-term rates lose momentum, the very reason that the Fed has said they may not need to raise lose rates Lose confidence further. in the Fed, meaning <coughs> the Fed could potentially raise again? Or what, what do you mean? Lose confidence in the Fed that they're going to stay the course until inflation is back to 2%. Okay. So right now there's a lot of question marks of whether or not a 3% inflation rate is good enough. And the Fed needs to be very clear, no, 3% is not the new two. And we, we heard this directly from Chair Powell in some of his more recent commentary. So the market investors have to be convinced that the Fed will stay the course and get inflation back to 2%. That being said, the current projections by Fed officials are that they don't get to 2 until when, 2025? Correct. So there, in theory, is this leeway for them to say, we believe the lag effects are real. We believe the long end of the Treasury curve is doing some of this work to restrain the economy. Um, we can have some estimate of what neutral rates are, and we think real. We're very restrictive right now. In other words, it doesn't mean they have to do anything, but they have to essentially uh, send that persistent message, I guess. Well, they have the luxury of remaining on the sideline with just communication if we continue to see this downward trajectory of disinflation. But as of late, we haven't seen that. Right. The headline has reversed course, and the longer we see that upward tick in headline, the larger the risk that those price increases seep into the core, and that will force the Fed's hand. So we need to see more improvement in the inflation data to justify a position on the sideline. But if we do have, if we don't have inflation coming down, a quarter doesn't get you anywhere, does it? I mean, I, I, what I've been saying is, if the Fed has to do that other quarter, it's going to have to do more than a quarter. Well, the Fed, the median forecast is one additional rate increase. One. One. But that doesn't mean that, to your point, we're going to get where we need to go. So I think the, the, the latest SEP suggests that the Fed, at the very SEP. least, summary, summary of economic and... projections. Correct. Thank you, Lindsay. Correct. Yes. Not everybody's doing all this You stuff don't have every that day. laminated on your refrigerator? I, I, I have it on my forehead. Got it. <laughs> but I think that at the base case, they're saying they're willing to take more action. But to your point, 25 may not be enough. We may need to get to 6%. Now, the caveat there is even if we see supply-side pressures remain elevated, I don't think that's enough to justify the Fed indefinitely raising rates. But it does support them holding rates higher for longer. So what do you think, Lindsay? What do you think about where the committee is? If I, I have another screen, guys, in the back there that kind of breaks them up into three different categories. We have the category of those who say we're done. And by the way, we have somebody coming up tomorrow on our air who says we're done. We've got those who are kind of in the middle, the patient non-committal. And we've got the may likely... To, what's that? That's such a tease. Who's coming up on our air that's going to say You that. just wait, Becky, quick. I'll tell you in a minute, okay? Hold on a second. We have Bostic coming up tomorrow. But those, where, where do you think the committee is? And assuming you agree with these three categories, mm -hmm. where does Powell come in today? 
I think Powell is additional rate hikes. Powell has actually been one He's, of the more hawkish oh, members. Okay. And he has been very clear that the Fed has a job to do. That's price stability. And they're going to do whatever it takes to reinstate price stability. So I do think that Powell's comments that we're, we're waiting for later today will be on the more hawkish side. And he will be in the camp of further rate hikes. I don't think the market's come. there yet. I don't think the market is where you are, Lindsay. If he surprises with a hawkish commentary that puts that quarter point back on the table. But he's always maintained that. I don't no, think I that's a that. surprise. I just, I just don't think the market's thinking that way, given all the speech we've had. Well, the market has been consistently optimistic that the yeah. Fed won't need to raise as high as we've even seen as of late.